to it for a second. So off stream, as I said, I wanted to go back and do a bunch of like, I, I put up an interactive map and I went back to some early zones that I had already been to or had, had already essentially thoroughly beat and um, just going to places. It also helps me kind of get back into the rhythm of the combat. And in doing so, I went and talked to a lot of NPCs that I hadn't talked to in a while or forgot they were there. And so one of them, well, I don't know. I don't think it matters what order I do it in. One of them was I was over here in the Weeping Peninsula, okay? And I was looking on my map. And all of a sudden, if you look in the dead middle of my screen, it says Blad the Half Wolf, which is a dude that you first encounter a little north or northeast of where I'm currently at. And so I was like, whoa. It was one of those things that I organically did not know he was there. But while looking at my map, the little icon let me know that he's somewhere around here. So I talked to him, but I don't think I need that conversation to be heard first. And this is a longer video. So another thing I did was anyone who's played Elden Ring will know one of the first like major dungeons, major POIs that you tackle is right where my character is. It's called Storm Vell. And at the, you know, it's where you fight Godric or Godfrey, one of them. And so anyways, I was going back through this area, just fighting mobs uh, again, checking off things in my interactive map to make sure I've gotten them. And in doing so, I came to this like where you fight this boss right here, Stormvale. And I was running around and it was like all of a sudden, actually, this is the best thing. I was running into the doors. I had no idea anyone was going to be in that throne room. And I was like, I was almost like, jump scared i'm like do, 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 do. i was like whoa whoa whoa! what is she doing there am i about to have to fight her what's going on so i took a screenshot long story short with that intro this is what happened here i'm going to turn it up and i will be back asap ah you is it haven't seen your mother don't want to throttle your internet heard that time. as you can see I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Yo, this is trippy. It, it just shows how this game is ever evolving. Um, since I'm not streaming right now, I'm just playing the game casually off stream. I'm not really advancing anything. I'm going back. I've been continuously going back to places where I had beaten major bosses or met NPCs to see if anything's changed ever since lighting the earth tree on fire or just doing this doing that you know sometimes it could be like you give a dude a pickle halfway across the map and then that sends a whole thing down the chain anyways this is trippy i hadn't been here in a while not only are there three people apparently to talk to but there's a merchant love that oh you can buy it that's clutch that's so clutch Nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. And see, that's cool because if I remember correctly, this is a guy that you first meet like here ish, 
as you're moving out of the starting area and you're going over here, uh, you meet him here. And then eventually, once you clear out this fort, that progresses stuff with him. So the last time I think I talked to him, like you talked to him here. I want to say that then I talked to him here. Like he, he, I came back here once just to like run around and he was randomly standing at the top of his fort. And then, and that was probably two years ago at this point. So this is trippy. Um, he's up here now, Limgrave Air. And this is his family's fort. I'm seeing the last name now. That's cool. So again, boom, beat the fort, him here. Now he's up here. And that's what he meant by going back to my fort. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Oh, sweet. Juice me up, Poppy. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Ooh, what does that mean? Um, okay, this was a lot. Two ancient dragon smithing stones. That's a huge come up. Um, her last name rings a bell. If I remember correctly, at the very beginning of the game, when they do that intro and they list all those important names, or when you're talking about like bookkeeper back at the knight ta knighthood table thing, round table, um, they talk about like a Hororoloru. Like his first name starts with an H, and his last name is the Larue. And I think that's her dad that she was. But your guidance um, your fight. That's who she was referring to. This is super dope. To... But your guidance surely lie else. For the time being, at which time I'm raising you to the I forgot he did promise to make us a knight. I wonder if that how much that changes things. It's it shows his NPC thing here. Nafele Lu. But it also shows him at the beginning, which is where you first actually meet him. Like after you beat Margit, you come up here and you have like a choice to Talk to him as you, you know, sneak around. Ah, so maybe it was still showing him on the map because that's where he was at one point. Um, he was right here the first time you talked to him. Um, and I just hadn't been here again to like update it. First you talk to him here. Then he's like here on this bridge after beating Godric. And then boom. All right, that'll be this enough for this recording. Going back to Stormvale after all this time and, and kind of uh, seeing some of the conclusions or I guess the latter sequences of some of these quest lines, mini quests with Kenneth, with Gostick, and with Nefeli Lu that I did earlier. I wonder, oh, so back in the day when the game first came out, they didn't like mark NPCs well, maybe not at all. Um, so I would manually mark them. And that's where I marked having run into her the first time when she basically is like, uh, like I think offers her assistance on fighting Godric. So that's pretty cool. Oh, another example. See, they did not mark these things on the map organically when the game first came out. So I would manually do it. Now I don't really need that anymore because it shows her. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, I'm gonna end the recording here. And catchy is not way better. You're tripping, dude. Okay, I'm almost back. Let me. Burn right. the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos. Take the world! Chosen tarnished and would be lord, descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital, 
Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. Burn the earth tree and incinerate. Uh, may chaos take the world! So you hear the howling. That's another way to know that he's there. And then, of course, it told me to talk. I could talk to him. So, like, old EG, which is the guy I'm going to go to here in a minute. So, I wind up, I don't do anything. I, I don't let him out. There's a, sounds like he's trapped in one of these ever gowls, ever goals. You can either let him out or not. So, I leave, I don't make a decision, and I go and I talk to this EG. And then see, why is Blade in the ever goal? Very well. There is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful. Her follower, her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Imperian, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. It's cool because her such towers in the background up destiny. there. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized for Lady Rani's sake. So what I get from that conversation is that so Lady Rani is what they call an Empyrean. Um, that's that like EP something like that Empyrean and they have he says a shadow so I'm guessing like almost like a, a, a tra um, an assigned bodyguard or an assigned spirit or well, not even spirit like assigned uh, yo what up Clipper yes sir um, oh I need to turn this down too oh don't be saying uh, yes I am eventually um, so, oh, but, <clears throat> so one thing I'm going through right now, Clipper, is I had ran into, I was randomly going back, and I saw on my map, Blade was here. I was like, huh. And I walk around, I eventually hear him howling, I see that I can press this, I talk to him, he tells me he's trapped. I had the decision to let him out or not, and then I came and talked That's to him. And I'm okay. trying to, like, wrap my head around the lore a bit more. So I take it that Blade Blad is essentially like a lapdog or like a, a an assigned bodyguard for Lady Ronnie because she's an Empyrean. And he tells me I should keep him trapped. Transforming from a follower into a it pains me so. But he must be neutralized for Lady Ronnie's sake. Okay, so and then eventually I do strengthen some of my armaments. Knees, I pray that you serve her. And then he reminded me that I have Lady, Lady Ronnie, Ronnie, technically. He's like, I hope that you serve her well. Okay. And then I have a little doll of her. Right here. This game is wicked, man. Her quest line. Um some of them are trippy. Like another thing I did, like uh, just a minute ago, I was showing stream. I I went back to Stormvale, and there were three people to talk to. There was Nefeli Lou, who I talked to, Kenneth, and the gatekeeper from the beginning. I had no idea that she was sitting there holding uh, ancient dragon smithing stone, which is huge at this stage for me, huge. And then what else? Um, I could buy one from his shop. It was twenty thousand, but I was like, scoop. This game is so gorgeous, man.
So one place I have yet to get to is up here on this plateau. And that's what I'm trying to do. Audio seems good. Missed a few or locked myself out of some. That's what... So I was telling stream a minute ago, while off stream the last week when I have felt like gaming, I finally pulled up an interactive map for this game just to kind of like make sure I got everything. And I've been going back through the beginning areas. That way I'm not spoiling anything for the most part. And then just checking off all the items and stuff I've already gotten. With that in mind, what did I want to do? Hold on. Sorry. Mm, audio seems good. Great, great. Thank you. Where I need to be is down here. Where I took that elevator the other way. And it's like a blizzard and shit. I have leveled up at least once, if not twice, since then. Oh, hold on. Before I do this, let me make a decision on this guy. He's locked in this gel. No idea what... Like, this is what you were just referring to. I might lock myself out of a quest line here, but... I, I So I looked up an interactive map. I did not look up any of the quest lines and whatnot. So I have no idea what happens if I choose what... <clears throat> Why would Eiji do this? I could never intend harm to Lady Rami. What was he thinking? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Blade. The problem with like taking a two-year gap from this, I don't remember how cool Blade was to us earlier, but I'm gonna open it. Wait, I don't want to piss off EG. Oh, whatever. I guess the question is, who do I want to fight more? And I think I want to fight Blade more. All right, we're going to do a poll. New poll. Free him. Don't. One, two minutes. All right, poll is live. If anyone's out there lurking, you don't even have to type in chat, but there is a poll live. <laughs> He's a real one though. Him and the dude in the uh, round table Ooh, speaking of deaths, I need to put those back on stream. Hold on. And then we need to add a couple. I've already added two. I think I meant to add five. Where are we at? Countdown to 723. All right, that's close enough. All right, we're freeing him. We're just going to end the poll. I don't feel like writing the rest of it. Boom. Democracy. Are we are we fighting? Dude, you look cool as hell. I want that sword though, dude. My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mr. Srani now. I don't know what came over old E.G., but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. I I have her as a doll, though, I thought. Like, is this not her? If anyone's seen the uh, show What We Do in the Shadows, I'm obviously a huge fan. I talk about it a lot around the stream. Um, Naja has her little doll. Makes me think of her. Okay. I'm going to see Mrs. Rani now. 
I don't know what came over old Egypt. <laughs> but even if the odds are... Dude, he rose up. That was so dope. I think that, I think you just cleverly answered that. So now EG's probably pissed at me. Audio's good? All right, great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This whole little POI is really cool. It's kind of annoying because the mobs are invisible. They suck but the like actual POI. It has a hidden little dungeon and a hidden wall here. Originally, this is closed. I do remember that. Well, lies the war, Consular. I hit buttons too fast, damn it. The Irani has departed on her journey along the dark path of the Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well unto the very end. Dude, the lighting in the game changes so much. Lady Rani along the dark. I guess he doesn't I care. You did allude to that. The jellyfish just got stronger. Yo, you can tell I was going through. So I, again, I was playing with the interactive map and I did it where I would only have it show weapons, right? And so I took all of the weapons that I had out of my storage and I was just kind of going through and checking them off. Just wants to read his books. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so and I was just checking them off like that. I'm a, I'm a completionist and a nerd. So you'll see that I want to keep one of every type of weapon. Um, but also, if it's a weapon that you can eventually have multiple of, I also want to have two of them. Just so I can eventually dual wield if I want to. Right hand, left hand. And then, obviously, these you can only have one of because they're unique items. But, yeah. Metapod. Do you... Uh, hold on. Does your... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Do your weapons carry over in the New Game Plus? Or do you start bare, butt naked, got nothing, got to grab everything again? My lighting's pissing me off. They carry over? Ooh. Okay. Okay, now you're speaking my language. Let me see what's up with these. We got these three towers. I think I've solved one. The other one had a dragon in front of it. Except your crafting stuff. Gotcha, like those cookbooks and whatnot. I still have that mark. That must have a, um, <clears throat> I use that mark for th the teleports. Now you go back down. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? I didn't catch the Metapod? Talk about egoed. Okay, I'm... What's the point of having two sites of grace here? She... Okay, I do remember Ronnie was here initially, so she's long dipped. She's a doll. 
I've talked to him. That was the clip we watched before I came back to live footage for the most part. Okay. I don't know what to do with Ronnie. Do I hold it? Like, do I hold the baby? The little... Okay, this one has nothing in it. One of my favorite fights, Clipper. Oh, that, actually, that might be a lofty statement. There's a lot of great ones. But one that I love is this one. It's uh, here. So you're in Laer Laernia, Northwest, the Carrying Castle. And it's the, they have the, it's like a magic giant bow. And you eventually get the skill that does that right here. Loretta, I always called it Loretta Lynn, Loretta's Great Bow. I'm going to go to sleep now. All right, thanks again for hanging out. As always, Adeline, it's good seeing you. Um, looking forward to more streams coming up. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, that fight is so sick. This whole little arena and all these tables, it just makes me want to know more about the lore. Like, a meeting of all of the Carrion royalty or something? Is that what this would have been? So dope. This one we just were was at. I need to go check this one out. I'll do that first, then we can come back and then teleport wherever that sends me. Uh, Clipper, what's your favorite NFL team? If you have one. Is it the Rams? The Chargers? The Raiders? Because they were in Los Angeles for a bit. I think this is the one that you parkour up around to open up. Ooh, I haven't seen him in a hot minute. I Do I remember him being dead? Is this the same cat who was here at one point? Or is that this chick? who's dead in the basement of this place. I mostly just watched the red zone. There's a couple of these like sorcerer people. One initially was like in the basement of this place. Then they show up here chained to a wall. Now this person's standing over them. Okay, this is clearly, ooh, this, holy crap. Wait a minute. Um, I've never really used these. I think maybe once or twice. They're, you know, they're solid, but I don't feel like they change a fight near as much as, say, these, obviously, right? I'm kind of glad I held on to them. I didn't realize they were currency eventually. Oh, these are for summons, too. One of Selvis's puppets used to summon the spirit of a jar right. Jar white. Spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. A jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this. You are not yet ready to join the warriors inside. No, you must apply yourself, better yourself, and one day I will return for you. What's your question on is weird as hell. What's cool is how they have so many of those things. And a person might thoroughly play this game. 150 solid hours. And they might just genuinely never interact with that. You know what I mean? Um, even experience that little random nook that leads to the cranny that does the thing. What was I going to do? Mm. Oh, I think that was it. Uh... 
Same thing. Spirit of our jar. Spirit of the finger maiden Theralina, who never, <clears throat> who never met the tarnish she was meant to guide, uses healing incantations and holy water pots, but she is not a fighter by nature and is ill suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnished, a tarnished without a maiden, and yet no guide to bring them together. Oh, we were destined. Come here, Theralina. Okay, but I only have four starlight shards left. That's kind of cool, though. I'm glad I came back here. And this is all because the completion is... Like, normally I don't want to look up, like, an interactive map. Uh, it, but I feel like this is a perfect example. It gives me an excuse to go back to areas I've been to just to kind of, like, soak them in and refight some things, especially off-stream. And in a lot of cases, I'm, there's actually, like, new stuff there. I saw a funny meme the other day, gaming related. It says, you know, games often, when they have ladders in them, will feature two climbing speeds, the like normal one and then the fast one. But like, and then it goes on to say like, but why would we ever want to do the slow one? You know what I mean? I, I guess in maybe a shooter, you don't want to, you don't want to peek and like make yourself vulnerable and you know in call of duty you can almost like if you just throttle your thumbstick your character will literally peek oh this is gonna hurt isn't it okay never mind but yeah generally it was like why would we ever want the slow one why why not just make the fast one the default speed Alright, I think that's everything here now. Oh, we're dead. That's actually good in a way because now I don't have to go all the way back. Um, and I should be able to just get my runes down there. I think I made it to where VIPs can do it as well. Will you try a uh, clipper? See if it'll register yours. Nice. You can go ahead and do like two, even three more, because I did die off stream. Especially to <clears throat> I'll, I'll teleport there later and show you, but um, it's one of those giant, gross ass hands, and it's by far the hardest one that I've fought. It's the one that's like you know, where you fight the fire giant, which is kind of basically where I was um, very recently on stream when I was playing, um, playing through new stuff. Uh, there's a, there's a, it's a, there, there's like a crow, one of those weird, like, raven, pterodactyl, uh, T-Rex things, and then as you get close to it, a giant hand just fucks it up, that, that hand, and what's funny is I've interacted with it several times, even on stream, but I had never grabbed, there was like a somber smithing stone where the crow is eating a body, I had randomly never gotten it, so I was looking at the inter interactive map, clicked on it, Went to check it just to be sure, double check off stream, you know, especially it's also good because I'm not playing any new stuff where I feel like I want to be on stream as I experience it the first time. And um, I don't remember where this takes me, by the way. And so anyways, uh, yeah, I was doing it. And uh, I'm like, okay, let me just go double check. I hadn't grabbed the somber smithing stone. And that means I probably hadn't killed that big hand. I think they call him the Colossal Hand. And, you know, the completion is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, fast travel. Ooh, we're down here.
I wonder if there's any new stuff unlocked here. I know this. these woods are ruthless. They have the archer minotaur dudes with their heat-seeking arrows. I almost Oh, I didn't go get my runes. No, I don't know how many it was. How do I go to the top side? Where did I die at? Here. So let's go... Here. Bullshit. When I was like a level 30-ish, I lost... I don't even know, 50 or something K on a death to that. Whereas like I died with 50 K and on my second life, I'm serpentine and like a mofo and a uh, homing missile basically. I was very mad. And at level 25, 30, whatever I was, 50 K felt like, you know, I was Scrooge McDuck. Whoa, hey buddy. What what was some uh your some of your favorite areas? One of mine definitely is La Ernia. Just their own like Hogwarts like magic place is sick. Plus when you start finding out the lore about the kind of like magic user civil war where the Carrion family um basically beefed with Raya Lacaria. And if I'm not mistaken, I think like a marriage happened. Renala, maybe. Um, and that's kind of like made temporary peace between them. But then when the, I don't know, like, basically they eventually got fighting again. No. My runes are all the way up there. Hold on. Oh. Ooh, good comms. I know one area I haven't been to is this one I talk about. Again, I know I have a fast travel there, but it's underneath. There's like this whole area on the plateau and then Okay, runes, we dip. Why are they here? Also only 6K, Never mind. Ooh, I forgot about this little cat. I wonder if he has anything to talk about. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna fast travel out of here. We'll come back later here, hit this merchant, see what that diamond's about. But for now, Um, you were talking about a hidden, oh, at Farrah, Missoula, this place over here. I haven't been back here in a while. I don't even remember where I was at. This was the balcony, and then we weaved down here. There was a, the archer dude pissed me off. Home, dragon temple. Is this where I'm fighting the two godskin? Oh, I remember. Okay, this is rough. Right, hold on, but before I do, ooh, item. Okay. Um. I don't want to go back over there, but we're gonna try it. Here we go. Wait, let me do this thing. Uh, it's like cotton, cotton, cotton. No, no, it's a cat. Here we go. Grants immunity.
Nice. Oh! Complete control. I probably don't even need to pop those things. Oh, dude, seeing them close up like that, it, like the hair coming out of his ribs. Yo, go ahead and tack on. Oh, you already did. Never mind. Uh, the two extra. Go ahead and throw in an extra one just to be safe. If it's like, hmm, did I die there or did I not die there? Chances are I probably died there, you know? Are you gonna play that uh, Black Myth Wukong game? Nope. He has a backswing. He has a backswing. No way I'm struggling with this cat right now. Um, one I feel like you get a very good view of is underneath, well, I think you fight a couple of them, but underneath Stormvale Castle, you know, the first, like, major dungeon area, there's the giant, like, corrupted tree specimen thing. That thing, I felt like in that arena, you were constantly inside of them. Of me. Oh, how I long to be. I need to get that talisman off. Yeah, give me a second. Nope. Nope. I don't know what I just put on, but it's better than the cat thing. That's for sure. I wanted to backstab him. Like, I've always wanted to make this sword that I'm using, the Sword of Saint Trina, work. There it is. Thank you. Um, but I just feel like it takes forever uh, for the sleep element to take effect. Oh, no, no, no. The sleep to take effect compared to some of the other ones. If I would have let him get back up, I would have been not happy. Dude, that just feels like I'm about to get enveloped. Ugh. I try, in areas like this, I try not to spam clicking the thumbstick because I know that'll spoil some of the, um, like, surprises sometimes. But it's hard not to because it'd be scary. Let me get this away. I don't need that. Okay. Hmm. Yo, another thing. Oh, he's cheating. I'm not going to be able to... Re no, that's cheating. Count them dead? What's happening? Yo, I just got scammed. Absolutely scammed. Okay, another cool thing about going back with the um, interactive map is and doing it off stream is I've been able to casually read 
all of the like uh, little bits of lore. Like as I'm going through, uh, Night J, sorry I'm just now seeing this. Hopefully I didn't miss you. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by, and it was fun playing Fall Guys with you. Um, I've been able to read all of these. Like as I'll check them off, and there's so much lore in this game. Uh, one of the things I learned is in the royal capital, as you're in this place, there are like dead dragons, like the remains of dragons kind of scattered on the these like amazing buildings and stuff. And um, I think the lore here talks about a battle, but I was reading one of the items descriptions and basically it's these, the, like these dragons and this area basically went to war with the royal capital and that of those dragons slain from the battle at the capital. And it was like, that's just, um, oh, I know. I actually have one of the things usually ready to go like that to equip. I think it's this one, Faith. So I can use it. It just sounds so cool. Where did it go? No, oh, this one's pretty cool too. Wait, that might be the thing I was thinking about. No, no, no. Oh, but what I was getting at is there's a lot of lore, as anyone who's played Dark Souls would attest, like, um, not that I have, but one thing I've always heard from them is th there's a lot of people like, yeah, there's no story, there's no, and there's not a narrative, so to speak, a lot of times, but there is so much lore packed into them. Where did we see it at? Oh, God. Oh, well. I, I wish there was like a favorite, a way I can favorite things and then have them come to the top. I guess you can, there it is. Wait, sorry. I'm panicking. I need my staff. Boom. And then my backup can be the coated sword. Faith. Boom. Sorry about that. Here we go. Dude, sounds so dope. Yeah, okay. I was thinking about the coated sword. I wanted to be able to use the, like, Sypha Pada, that other thing. <laughs> so cool. Another thing when you're, like, when it comes to reading these items... Is how almost every item has like an extra thing if you just gotta read about it. Like, um, it, it might say follow up with a strong attack to do yada yada, like this one. Um, yeah, anyways, it's like, oh, cool. Not only does it have the first move that you that, uh, that's like obvious but there's also like a secondary attack if you press a certain follow-up okay uh we're not jumping down there enough about the lore time to do it <gasps> okay my chubby ass before i started to jump I'm like running towards it and there's like a railing and uh, I like, you like slot. Oh my goodness. All right, do I fight these guys again? I wanna see how much this does. Oh, no sir. Oh, it does a shit ton of damage. It might be because this is like holy light, and I think these guys classify as like, uh, what do they call them? Those who do not live or something? Those who live in death, maybe? I wouldn't say there's a whole Pokemon type advantage system in this game, but there are, there's a couple. 
Oh, I forgot about him. What did I just do? What's going on? All I hit was triangle. <laughs> 